man tool. Man tool, man job. trouble getting the seat out because of that very awesome dirty heater. Yeah, this guy. That's nasty. Nice. It's going to be under the bed anyway. And it takes up valuable I mean, that's part of your drawers that are going in there. Not mine. Oh yeah, that's your side of the bed. up there so we took the metal out we took the insulation out and we're going to do our own insulation at the root grade and we're going to scrap that metal as well and so though that metal will start paying for some of the things that we need dollars and 42 cents is what we got back when we went to the scrap metal place i think it costs us that much in gas to find it may or may not be worth scrapping. Up to you. Anyway, this is the beginning of the beginning of the beginning. We got it. The bus three days ago, we took out the seats. We have one seat left that's giving us a hard time because it's above the gas tank. And then, um, I hear him doing it right now. All of our neighbors are like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> You're making an RV, aren't you? Yes, yes we are. We ended up finishing those last two seats above the gas tank, getting those out, and then we moved on to rivets. Oh my gosh, there are so many rivets. We're only gonna show you some of the inside that I ended up doing while Jim and Walker were at work, and I was staying home. So here's what we got. We're doing the roof break, right? There's all these top rivets on the outside of the bus all along this road. All the way down. Like a thousand. Couple, a couple hundred on each side. So all these have to come out and look like that. You can see that. So they gotta look like that. They look like this, they gotta look like that. So rather than before manual, after. Rather than manually, grind. shut up. Wait. New toy. 
rather than grind all those off by hand, we got pneumatic hammer. So we have to chisel off the inside of the pop rivet and then punch through and it winds up looking nice and clean like that. When we take all the windows out and put the new sheet metal on the side after we raise the roof up 20 inches, it's going to create a pocket like this, and the new sheet metal is going to slide right up in that pocket, and then you drill it in with sheet metal screws. Right here. Number one, wear some ear protectors. Holy cow! La 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 la. It really does make a huge difference, you guys. I know, but do it anyway. It makes a difference. And number two, getting the right tools matters. We tried with a hammer and chisel to get off one of these studs. It took us forever just to get one done. And so we went out and got the pneumatic tool. We went to Northern Lumber, Jim went to Northern Lumber, and got a different pneumatic drill. The one from Harbor Freight was, we got the smallest we could at Harbor Freight and it was too small. This is a 90 PSI max, 3200 uh, BPM. What that means is BPM is 3200 beats per minute. It's, it literally hits. So we're almost done taking the top row of rivets off, just above the windows. We got ourselves a different pneumatic drill. We patched a hole in our air compressor line. It's taken us a while to do this. So we are going to finish that row up. But then we've got to do underneath the windows. And, um, and then we got to work on the outside. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm going to finish this up. I'm not going to grind the rest of them off. I'm going to attempt a pneumatic drill these things. Wish me luck. <laughs>
want to thank you so much from the bottom of our heart for watching this video, for hitting the subscribe button, for hitting the bell notification button, for just coming along with us on this journey. We totally and completely appreciate you and your support and watching. Anything at all you guys want to see, comment below and we will uh, show you that. In the next video, I want to give you a little sneak peek. In the next video, we will be taking down the roof, the ceiling, not the roof, the ceiling, and showing you what it is that we're going to be doing with that. We are recycling, but not in the way that you think. So, stay tuned for that next video. And pretty soon we'll be doing the roof raise. Oh my gosh. Oh. Stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button if you want to join us on this journey. Thanks. Have a blessed day. Hands on the tear, don't care.